Greetings fellow humans, I am really excited today to announce that next month I will be participating in my first ever readathon. And what better one to start with than one that is perfect for me, Sci-Fi September. This readathon was started by Sajid from Books Are My Social Life and will be hosted alongside by Jesse from Books and Bowties, Kathy from Kathy Trade Hearts, and Kelly from Booked Trips. All channels are linked in the description below. While sci-fi has been my channel's focus since the beginning, I found that its presence within the booktube community has been small. The point of this readathon is to introduce more non-sci-fi readers to give sci-fi a chance, and while my whole goal of this channel is to introduce people to books they will love, this readathon plus my channel feels like a match made in heaven. I am once again on a self-inflicted book buying ban. I have my TBR shelf and and my red bookshelf and my TBR shelf is getting way too full, so I gotta start reminding myself that I've got books at home. Fortunately, I already have a lot of sci-fi books to choose from. So while I am going about forming my TBR for Sci-Fi September, I'm going to focus mostly on what books I already have while I try to fill out as many squares as I can on the Bing board. Some of them weren't possible to do with the books I already have, so I will open the possibility to anything I can get from the library. I mentioned how happy I am to finally be able to visit the library again in person. Thanks to the Sci-Fi September Discord for offering many suggestions for the books in categories I don't read a lot in. For this category, I'm going to focus on self-published books because I do have a handful I've yet to get around to. Isis by S. Z. Atwell, Each Little Universe by Chris Durston, which I think also applies to contemporary with sci-fi elements and alien presence. And I have both Time Bomb and Insider Threads by R. M. Olsen, which is book three and four in Olsen's The Ungoverable series. Uh, these can also apply to the LGBT category as well. I actually have a lot for this category on my shelf, so I'm only going to mention a few. Childhood's End by Arthur C. Clarke, Fools by Pat Cadigan, The Lathe of Heaven by Ursula K. Le Guin, who is quickly becoming a favorite author of mine, and The Female Man by Joanna Russ. Gather the Children by Mary Collier, Infomacracy by Malka Older, and Riot Baby by Tochi Anyabuchi. This isn't a common trope I read, so I'm actually really excited to see what everyone else is reading for this. But I did have one graphic novel on my physical TBR that fits the category, and that is Paper Girls. Dead Astronauts by Jeff Vandermeer, Ironheart by Nina Varela, which I am currently using as part of my mic stand right now. Though also dependent on how reading goes this month, I might read it for August or even start it in August and carry it over. I would like to finish this series this year and the Criers War series is like a perfect blend of sci-fi and fantasy, plus it knocks off a few other squares on the Bing board including LGBT, robot slash AI, non-human main character, and possibly steampunk. I'm gonna have trouble with that last square, I know. I'm interpreting this one to either be taking place in the Global South or an author whose background is. Clara and the Sun by Kazuo Ishiguro, Terminal Boredom by Izumi Suzuki. This one also counts for the short stories category as it is an anthology. This is yet another category I'm looking forward to seeing what everyone is reading for. Possibly my favorite trope besides general space opera stuff. Ancillary Justice by Anne Leckie, which I am also counting as popular slash hyped. I don't know how popular it is currently, but it's definitely one of those larger series, and I think it applies to non-human main character as well. Autonomous by Annalie Newitz, which can also count as LGBT. 
An absolutely remarkable thing by Hank Green, which can also apply to Alien Presence, which is our next category. Escape and Exodus by Nikki Dryden. Fortuna by Kristen Murbeth. I like to say I have Gator, but for books, because I picked out this book a whole year before I realized it had LGBT rep in it, which only makes this book better in my opinion. Unity by Al Bangs, which I think would also count for non-space. Rogue Protocol by Martha Wells, which is the third book in the Murderbot series, and would count for robot slash AI presence as well as popular slash hyped. This one I know for sure I will be checking off next month because I religiously listen to Simultaneous Times, a science fiction anthology podcast that updates once a month, so I will be doing whatever stories their September episode gives me. Memory of Water by Emmy Itaranti, Dune by Frank Herbert, which also applies to the classics category, possibly popular slash hyped. Gideon the Ninth by Tamsin Muir. I keep hearing about this book, so I need to just finally read it. But also, this would check off the Fantasy Elements Square as well as the LGBT Square. Gemina by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. I know the first book, Illumini, gets talked about a lot on booktube, but I've already read it, so I see this as a good excuse to continue on in the series. I also talked with Bailey Jean from That Blush and Book Girl about doing a buddy read together, so I will most definitely actually read this one next month. This isn't a genre I usually read, nor have a lot of interest in to be honest, but this month's readathon is all about trying something new, and I'm actually really interested in the one book that was recommended to me for this category because it diverts from what I imagine the standard for steampunk to be exceptionally white and Victorian age. The Black God's Drum by P. Jelly Clark. A lot of these were recommended to me in the Sci-Fi September Discord, but also I want to open this up to audience participation and say, recommend me your favorite sci-fi book. I really want to know what stories everyone enjoys, and I think reading someone's favorite book is a good way to get to know a person. Also, let me know if you're planning on participating in Sci-Fi September. I'd love to hear about what you're planning on reading, and if one of the books I've mentioned in this video is one you're going to be reading, let me know so we can buddy read. I've updated my bookshop affiliate to include a category of every sci-fi book I've talked about on this channel, since a lot of what I've already read applies to the Bing board. I even go so far as to categorize which book applies to which category. The link for that is below. And whether you're already a sci-fi fan or someone who is looking to explore the genre more, please subscribe! Sci-Fi September is every month for me on this channel, and I'd love it if you would join me. I don't think you could tell, but my aliens are in the background. Those are my sun boys. <laughs>